Hey everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be creating a traveler's notebook spread using these templates from Kerry Bradford Studio. So you get quite a few uh, different layouts as part of this file. I've got two of them here that I've cut out using my silhouette. This one is template A. This one here is template C, just to give you an idea of how these look. So the silhouette cuts out where these lines are and then you can use those lines to trace onto your page where you want the lines to go. So this is perfect if you like to handwrite your journaling on your Traveller's Notebook pages. You can draw your lines in uh, either with pen if you want them to stay there or you can use pencil which you can then rub out later on. You can erase those afterwards. So I uh, do usually add my journaling with uh, my computer. So what I have done is use the PNG file from the templates, taken it into Photoshop and I've used the template as a guide as to where to put my journaling and it's also going to allow me the right space to put my photos. So when I did this in Photoshop, I typed in, I actually erased all the lines that were on the template because they were quite thick black lines and that is where I've put my journaling using the typing, uh, the type tool. I did also erase the lines before I printed out because I, I did want to have the outside border so that I knew where to cut my page but the lines would have printed out quite thick. So I erased those, printed out my page, and then I've simply added the template over the top, and then I've used my pen to draw in those lines down the middle and across that middle there. All right, and that was so quick and easy to do, and I love that you can use these templates over and over again for uh, whatever you want to do on your page. So this first page of my spread, as you can see, I haven't printed out the lines. Uh, so I'm going to just show you how I'm going to use this. And I don't want this top line here at all. So I just want this line to go across and down the page. So I'm simply going to lay it over the top of my page here. And then I'm just going to use my pen to draw those lines in. So I'm going to go across the middle here, just go over it a few times. This is an erasable pen, so if I make a mistake, I can just rub it out. Okay, and there is my lines all ready to go. And that was so quick and easy. So I am going to use a couple of different stamp sets to finish this spread off today. I'm going to use the Eat stamp set because I do have photos of food that we've been making here in the last couple of weeks and I've also got the label maker stamp set as well which I might use. So my photos, I used the template to sort of work out how big I wanted my photos to be. This one is roughly three and a half inches by about one and a quarter, uh, one and three quarter inches sorry. So all three are cut to the same size and as you can see they do fit beautifully into those spaces. All right, I think I shall make a start. So I'll pop you on fast forward and get right into it. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to trim my pages down with my trimmer and I'm just cutting right inside that black line all the way around the edge there. So I don't want to be able to see that black border. I'm going to do the same with the other page and now I'm moving on to some stamping. So I've got the uh, knife, fork and spoon stamps on there. I've got the tried this phrase. I've also got the uh, savoring every bite phrase. I've got the word delicious as well. Just grabbing another piece of cardstock there and the word favorite. So these words will be going above my uh, journaling in each of those spaces. And I've also got the stamp that says eating, and then you can check the box in or out, which is a really cool stamp. And that's going to be my title. So I'm also going to use a label from the Label Maker stamp set, and I'm just positioning it over each of those uh, phrases that are going above my journaling boxes. 
and because of the clear acrylic block you can line it up really well. I've just swapped over to another label from the label maker set to go onto the savoring every bite phrase and that's going to go just under my title. So I'm going to cut each of those out for the knife fork and spoon I'm using a circle punch to cut that one out just so it's a little bit different. Now looking at it I'm, I'm wishing I had done the knife first. I didn't realize that that's the order I did it in, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to leave it how it is. And I don't think I'll care later on when I'm looking through all my memories. It's not going to matter what order the knife, fork and spoon are in. So I've got some foam dots behind that circular piece. The rest of the pieces are just going to be stuck directly down onto the page. So I'm just going to go ahead now and add some double-sided tape behind each of those pieces and the photos as well. And then I can go ahead and stick them all down into place. So my photos, I'm just making sure I get the right photo next to the right journaling. So I've got some apple pies there, some chop chip cookies and some chalk mint brownies. All delicious. Okay, so my circular piece is going onto the page, just centering that, just eyeballing it, not really too bothered by getting it exact. So all of those are now stuck down. I'm going to grab my sewing machine and I'm going to add stitching to all of those pieces that are stuck directly onto the page. That is done and now I'm using some stays on ink to add the dates to each of those photos. So just doing it down the side of each, same position on each photo and then that is it. So I'll give you a closer look at the details here. You can see that stitching there on those stamped pieces. You can see the date stamp on the photo there and the same on the other page. So I love how quick and easy this spread came together using the templates and these stamp sets are also really fun to use. Let me know if you've got any questions. I'll leave a link down below to Kerry Bradford Studio and I look forward to bringing you another project very soon. Bye for now.